Good evening. It's that fateful day where you and I get to have a conversation about things that don't concern us, but they do because they're all in our faces when it comes to the entertainment scene. My name is Laura Mbatha. This is e -Curve. And as usual, we have a fantastic panel. Unfortunately, today, some people are missing, uh, missing in action. But as usual, we will always make sure we have someone here to at least bounce off some ideas. And we have someone who you've met before, Gilda. Hi. Hey, what's up? What's up? I'm we so hadn't happy. met. When you came, I wasn't here. Yeah, I was filling yeah. in for you. Yes. And now I'm here with you. Yes. So I'm so excited. I had so much fun last time. I'm so glad. I'm ready to do this again. Yeah. And Who's you know, cooler, me or Stevens? Mm, you know, I'll tell you off air. Oh, I love it. I love the <laughs> I don't drama. want evidence. <laughs> okay, so Gilda, I don't know. Um, some people maybe at home don't know you. So what do you do? So I'm actually an entertainment journalist. Mm -hmm. I've been for about a year now. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of new to the game. But I have a show called Behind the Fame. It's on our standard entertainment YouTube page. And we talk to content creators. We sit down. We have a real conversation. Mm -hmm. We talk about um, you know, mental health and all of that. So you can find it on our YouTube page. Amazing. Yeah. I'm surprised they've never called me. Does it mean I'm not doing what needs to be done? I don't know <laughs> yet. But something that is actually being done right is entertainment on Showmax. If you don't have a subscription, head on over to their website. That is www.showmax.com and get your subscription. Listen, the shows there are abundant yes. and fantastic. I told you guys before we had the Kialo sisters here. Kialo, not Chalo. Yeah. Kialo sisters here, two of them, Mercy and Gloria, who gave us a bit of a sneak peek of what we should expect on Kialo culture too. And I think it's fantastic. They've already been making headlines. So if you don't have a Showmax subscription, make sure you get one. Over the duration of the show, I'll be telling you a few more shows that I enjoy and why you should also get the subscription. I mm. love Showmax. Like yeah. There's so many options, right? If you want local content, international content, it's all there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you want content in general, stick around. T-Buzz is coming up. As usual, the streets are not only lit outside, they're lit on our phone screens because celebrities, this is the only place they get to talk to their fans and do the absolute most. And starting things off, state house content, content creators for state adverts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So last week there was the launch of Talanta Hela or, or maybe not launch. I think they were just having a party at this point because everything was declared unconstitutional. Everything. You know, like after Bachelor China Maumbi, you guys just want to dance a yeah. little bit. Like the president can just let loose and say he wanted a party. And yeah. Sakaja as well, the governor was Right. There, yeah. So the Talanta Hela committee went to State House and it had this whole big bash. I didn't particularly watch it because I don't understand what's happening. It's either unconstitutional or it's not because yeah. I don't understand why there's a whole big party over something that's not definitive right we don't we don't know yet so i'm mm. not sure what they're celebrating but they were there yeah and a bunch of content creators came in um a winja is that her name yeah um, abel mutua i think was there as well yes um butita was there claudia naisaba was hosting she looked absolutely gorgeous she was the only person who looked gorgeous come fight me <laughs> i'm just saying what were people wearing at that event you know what we never we never do it right when it comes to fashion i don't right? understand like guys let's get it together and let's i know that there was a lot of it, it, they they went for the political angle all these suits but no one really had a suit that stood out i mean besides mc jesse and he's a guy so he's expected to yeah but everything else like uh, like as okay. content creators, we need content. Like, look, we need to see like what we're looking for you for fashion advice, you know, mm. all of that. So yeah, before you come insulting us about the in, in you know investing in your personal lives, like make it entertaining for us. But they had that meeting, and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. As usual, I like to big up people that we work with. Congratulations to Claudia who did a fantastic job. She always and did you guys it. notice she had two outfit changes? Oh wow! Listen. Hey, a baddie is a baddie. It doesn't matter where you take her, if it's Tate House or right here on Straight Up. But um, I feel like it's a good thing. People are appreciating talent and they also gave tips on how to apply for the Talanta Hela initiatives, how you can be part of the whole program. And if it's done right, I think it's a fantastic thing. It's a good idea. I yeah. hope we execute it and content creation can grow, continue to grow. Elevate, yeah. take us to the next level. Speaking of next level, Faith Kipiegon breaks two world records. First of all, these two world records, one was her own. Imagine. Imagine being such a boss. Faith. And she's been doing faith. this for, she's been doing this for a minute now. This is not new to her, hmm. you know? <laughs> Stop it. I love it when women are doing fantastic things. I love but it. Uh, the government recognized her, and I think it's absolutely fantastic because we've 
I mean, talent has been taken because to see someone be great at something. Yeah. And oh my God. So big congratulations to her. Big she one. got a car worth five million and a house worth six million. Mm. And for every other person who breaks such or makes such fantastic marks Strides. in the world will also be part of that but at a lower price they won't get it for free i don't think so but um you know to watch when you watched her like for me i got chills right mm. just watching her you know the lights mm -hmm. as she was running you could see like she was beating her the record Oof. and i was like this is just you know some things are just god given and they, and they hit you and you feel different yeah i love it i'm going for the guinness world book rec world record book whatever for the longest show on air. Okay. That's what I'll be doing. So you guys could generally support in-house audience. I'm uh, looking forward to it. But um, something that's fantastic. Of. We've been praying. I, I host a show on Saturday night. Iwake. You guys know where the party is at. Uh -huh. Love that show. Ah, uh, Thank you. So we have a lot of upcoming artists. And the genre of music is usually Genge tone. Which was derived from Genge. And now the Grammys is going to be recognizing African music. And Genge is one of yeah. the subgenres. Guys, we have made it. We've we made it. have made it. This you is guys what fought, we've been wanting. Mali argue, oh, this music is not going to go anywhere. Yeah, da, da, da. Eh, no need even went to go to a whole new job in the States. Nyashinsky went, came back. Listen, the Grammys have said yes. Yeah. They've answered to our call. And I think it's fantastic. I personally am waiting for Mbuzi Gang to win. That's my favorite okay, group. I think he'll be waiting for a minute there. But... But this is what we've been praying for, and we've been trying to, you know, recognize. Mm -hmm. But I think let's also just be a bit realistic. Like the Nigerians are, are probably gonna take take it, right? There's a banner boy. These guys. But he has are, a Grammy. He has a Grammy. He does. I think even David does. David do have one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But yeah, he has a Grammy. The Grammys have always been the goal for think, yes. music, right? So to be recognized, at least just recognized for now. Mm -hmm. I know we can. We just, but our music needs to be like more international. I Have think. you heard <laughs> this line? Yeah. By one of Mbuzi Gang members, he says, Siwezi mm. West mm. I'll tell you the other part of the, of the lyrics, but I think they're fantastic. Yeah. And it's, I think, just for them to be put in as a subgenre that's going to be recognized, it means the people who they speak to are elevating their music. Well, Cardinale yeah. actually started producing music as far as I know, probably in 2019. And I didn't know that. And I listened back because I, li I listened to one of their music and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. So I went to listen to the whole album. Yeah. And I think not everything will be for everyone, but you can find something. Yeah. So for me, music is, is less about what can I dance to? What is this? Da, 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 da. It's what does it communicate to me? Yeah. And a lot of Genge tone artists or Genge musicians speak a lot of our language, yeah. uh, a regular day in Amatatu or whatnot. And I think that's the beauty of music, communication. That's so true. in numbers, we can actually propel them much further. Longest cooking record broken. What's the longest time you spent cooking? An hour. Right? Yeah. Nini nyulgo na pika? Pilau. Yeah, matumbo. <laughs> Before no. you, you're saying. Oh, yeah, you have to. That, even that's too long. So, when you talk about Hilda Bachi, this mm. lady, my God, 120 hours. 120 hours. On your feet. I'm telling you, the men were celebrating her like nothing. Yeah, <laughs> this is a perfect housewife. Wife. Not complaining, yeah. nothing. She's the one for us. But she broke the world record. And the whole setup was fantastic, which actually brought to like the question of Kenyans, because the initial record was held by a Kenyan. Right, and then it was broken by Hilda. So the Nigerians, as usual, loud and proud about everything they do, yeah. showed up in numbers, supported her. Brands came and backed her up, and the setup was fantastic. And apparently, they crashed the website, the Guinness World Book mm. of mm. Records mm. website. Mm. Nigerians, you know, mm. trying to get their nomination given to their sister. Listen Imagine. up, Kenyans, can we hold like a meeting and? do something yeah. better but of course it's a big congratulations to her Huge. anything that happens in africa for me is a win for everyone and it was course, so yeah. well planned out right yes from the sponsorship like you said mm. to the supporters that kept coming and i think people were also enjoying her food you know mm -hmm. so but and also she had a very strict like it's it's not that easy to break a record they give you rules right because mm. i know there's another lady who is now trying to break records but i hear she sleeps so mm. <laughs> so for her i think she's still continuing as we speak yeah. but um, yeah, she had a couple of r rules and I know she got knocked down a few hours mm -hmm. from the whole 120 hours because she rested for a little bit longer than she should have. Mm. So they're very strict. So it's not very easy to break this record. So yeah. big ups to her.
it's not easy to break records, but someone who's breaking the internet, Lupita, with her fashion choices. Oh, wow. What's your opinion on, first of all, she's a fantastic, uh, how do you call it, actress. I think she's very good in everything she's done. Beautiful. Absolutely. But then it comes to fashion, and Come fashion on. is subjective. I also had my days, so yeah. I know this, right? I don't know if it's just a, a thing with us Kenyans. <sighs> Bro. Like at some point when it comes to fashion, we'll embarrass you somehow. Hey, you know, I, was, I was passing Even up in a charge, Maviombo apo, karibu na bama apo. And I'm like, not after tops, you only. Yeah. Not after kwa well day. I'm like, hey. I'm looking for this top. I mean, I get, oh no, I don't get it. Let me not Same. lie. Yeah. I don't get it. The hair, I didn't get it. I don't know if it was an ode to the little mermaid and Ursula. I have no clue. Yeah. The top. But why is it cool when Doja Cat does it? Did what? Doja Cat also has like some wild kind of hairstyles. And, and we said it was cool. It's not cool, but I think people are more like accepting of her. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's more accepting. It's just that because Lupita is one of us. So the conversations oh, yeah. are louder here. Yeah. When it's Doja, it's like, oh, no, now wazungu. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. just, you, you categorize them with the rest of them. So they're them. But Lupita yeah. is ours. She's one of us. And we're like, this is What's not going on? our look. But let's give her some grace. She's been killing it in fashion all Absolutely. from the beginning, yeah. right? And so it's fashion, it's right? Fashion. Sometimes it's hit or miss. Yeah. You could do something like that you think, honestly, this will get them talking yeah. and I'll be the hottest thing on the internet. And it's the opposite. I've had my times. Like, I've gone to some old pictures yeah. and I'm like, God, oh, what's in my time? Me, Juicy, too. <laughs> hey, my friend. And I'm sure you guys have seen it on the show. Some of you do air your opinions. But listen, fashion is subjective. So what you like, I might not like. Yeah. What she's feeling like is her vibe that day is probably not your vibe. And it's okay. We'll see her next come back with an amazing outfit. But we'll Let's say see. this. She's, she's doing out-of-the-box things than what we see in the Kenyan entertainment scene. A lot yeah. of the people who do here, it's either sequins, your know, lace, fun, funny. Safe. Safe. Boring. So step out of your comfort zone. But what you will not do is step out on us. We'll be right back after the break.